I want to say that in this particular issue, yes, it's complicating the issue. When the Middle East is in a, in a um, very critical juncture and the involvement of Iran or any other uh, uh, country in the war with Israel, Lebanon, Jordan, or any, any other war, uh, uh, country in the region with, uh, with Israel, this will complicate the issue. And we are uh, not um, in position, of course, as Palestinians to see this escalation at all. Um, um, this, is not, um, this is not our intention as Palestinians, for sure. How do you think this will affect the Palestinian resistance? Um, no, Palestinian resistance will not be affected because this is a legitimate. We are very legitimate. Our resistance is very legitimate. And uh, before Iran have an, uh, um, uh, or start an, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, problematic, uh, to have an um, um, problematic issue with Israel or this current uh, uh, Iranian uh, leaders, 1979, the Palestinian resistance was there before the 1979 when Iran the Shah at that time ruled Iran was uh, very close allies with Israel so that our resistance with Iran or without Iran will not be affected. We are, we are resisting and we have a um, legitimate right, we have a uh, fundamental right to resist the Israeli occupation and we will continue to do so. Into serious crime committed by all parties to this conflict. The ongoing Israeli attempt to change the status quo in Al-Aqsa Mosque has not stopped yet and has taken many forms. Last Friday, April 5, the Israeli occupation force attacked hundreds of warships following the down prayer, launching tear gas consist, cons, uh, con, canister, canister, canisters and arresting at least five of them with the largest hospital in Gaza largely destroyed and out of action, access to health care has now become totally inadequate. Following six months of brutal fighting, most of the buildings are extensively damaged or destroyed, and the majority of equipment is unusable or reduced to ash. That's the assessment following the WHO World Health Organization led, led multi-agency mission to the Shifa Hospital in North Gaza on, 5th, on 5 April, which examined the extent of destruction following a week-long Israeli offensive. On f Friday, April 5, the Human Rights Council adopted a resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. The Human Rights Council resolution condemns Israeli action that may amount to ethnic cleansing and call upon all states to seize arms, munitions, and surveillance technology to Israel. The resolution also condemned the use, condemned the use of starvation of civilians as a method of warfare in Gaza and uh, deplored the ongoing Israeli policy of imposing punitive measures on the Palestinian people. It also called upon Israel to end its practices of withholding Palestinian tax revenue. The recently released World Bank and UN joint report stated that the cost of the damage to the critical infrastructure in Gaza is, is estimated at 18.5 billion dollar, equivalent to 97% of the gross national product of the occupied Palestinian territory. The report stressed that over 1 million people are without home and 75% of the population are dis is displaced. Catastrophic cumulative impact on physical and mental health have hit women, children, the elderly and persons with disability in the hardest with the youngest children anticipated to be facing lifelong consequence. So that, again, peace um, uh, needs a will, and the will is not, uh, and Israel did not have the will so far.